What's up guys, this is the Wolfman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. And this will be an hour special, potentially the end of my campaign, depending on how well I get on. Um, we've got to take Novgorod, fight the Battle of Moscow, and then go and attack Napoleon. But to be honest, actually moving my army south to the, to the Black Sea might take a bit of time, but while I'm a sat here jabbering on about it, let's attack Novgorod. Well, at least, normally get two decent sized battles in a half hour campaign. I think I'll, well, you all guys, you guys will find out, actually, <laughs> by watching the part. But I've gone on a real tear recording, recording this, these episodes. Okay, guns in the centre, park up here and open fire. Make a giant line and advance towards the enemy, I think. Ignore the town a bit. These guys are just going to hold here and try to draw them out. Send my light infantry around the flank with my cavalry. Howitzers will join up. Howitzer will follow the infantry body. General can go somewhere in the middle and start. Let's push up our line. <laughs> push up our line. Oh, that's quite a nice little spot, actually. So I've had to run my infantry to get up into position. <laughs> I mean, my howitz is not going to get near enough to be too useful so I probably want just to move them to an area of clear ground yep they're running to meet us oh no they're just moving up are all my guys tired yep they're all winded but they cannot withstand us Unload the gun, unlimber the gun. Oh, are they coming after us? This building has fallen to the enemy. Let's shoot it. Let's push up to the edge of the trees. And let's take. Take our light foot. Set them up in skirmish order. Advance them up. Accidentally picked up the general there. Unlimber the howitzers. And battle has commenced. Okay, let's get this artillery to hit. I oh, know they've already got out of the building. My main effort is just to destroy the flank out on the battlefield here. These guys just need to hold. How are you engaging? Not technically in range. Stay back as reserve. As the shots are coming in. Good. Caught them on the hop. 
poor souls. So over here is a bit dodge, so I might want to retarget. Oh, my hearts are calm. Ah, we'll be fine. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. So our light infantry are having a go. These guys are absolute fiends. Let's keep my light infantry out on the flank and then let's let's roll out the line. Hey, they've gone for a charge here. Grenadiers have immediately routed. Probably commit my cavalry. No, actually, to commit it out the back of the spikes. He's trying to rally his men. It's not working. Yeah, it has worked a bit. Just the armed citizenry, though. Targeted fire against the grenadiers. They are more experienced than my men. Only for now. My guys are bound to earn some experience. Well, they already have, because they've repulsed a few attacks from the Russians on the flank. you shut the door on this flank and you actually go over here to provide fire into the flank of the Moscow Musketeers garrison This guy. Yeah, they'll be back. See? They're even confident now. Because the Russians are breaking on all frank flanks. Victories, huh? it's soon to be yours. Okay, let's clean up this. I was about to clean up this mess. It's actually pretty good. The general just wants to commit suicide in the front. His men die all around him. Not able to actually kill him, though. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not bothered about killing them all. Well, I might set up something for these guys over here. So if they do come back, they've got a solid line waiting for them. Oh, General just got a load of shells, got a load of shots up his backside. Yep, everyone's falling back.
good. Get some pot shots off at La Generale. Oh, well, these musketeers are about to get engaged by my artillery too. Actually, you go for the general. Oh, that's a handful more. Ah, they've retreat. They're retreating. Eh, attack them properly to make sure they do actually route and stay routed. Let's turn off the artillery. Well, I think that's it. I think they've all broken. Novgorod is ours. As they walk through smoking shell craters. Heroic victory, damn right. Gotcha. Peacefully occupy. Spend loads of money, because why not? But this is where the big the big battle is. Well, if I was being cheeky, I'd swap some units around. Get some more howitzers in. Okay, let's take the light foot out. Get the 95th in. Really, I'm kind of cheating I'm trying to make Wellesley's army be the most interesting. Let's take. I mean, granted, I am, I am breaking up the army which got us so far from the start of the campaign. Costume guards. Mainly because this is going to be the army that also goes on to fight Bonaparte. So I want this to be a bit more interesting. Gonna the unit of rifles. Let's get the rifles in. Pretty sure that's all of my favourite units in. I mean, now you're unbalanced, Roland. But your army has been pilfered to support Wells's attack onto the Russian capital. Let's do this. This time. see where he deploys his strength. Right at the back. I want this hill. That's what I want. So I want to put two units of guns probably somewhere like here. Then I want the other two, if I can get them there, up here. So to secure the hill, let's put my elites up here in a position to advance up first. This line just has to stand. And my rifles to skirmish the hill as well. Cavalry on the right does a bit of a deterrent. Wellesley in the centre. I always like to move my guns first. So these guys, I just need them to, to hold. Speed up time a bit. General's right back there on the hill. Forming up a double line. St 
Still leaving some troops back inside Moscow itself. The mighty city of Moscow. Oh, they bugged. They look bugged to me. As the enemy decides to redeploy once more. Why don't hear me complaining? Let's do second speed. It's a bit more watchable. Just get my rifles to secure the road. My elites march up ahead of the guns. Oh, I see that cavalry. Maybe just a little bit, advance a little bit, just to pivot the flank. Just to pivot your um, firing position. Okay, unlimber the artillery. Then we're... They're advancing. Okay. Let's get the cavalry a bit further out on the flank. Let's start to target our howitzers to support the right. Let's get our elites on the move. Okay, I was about to say, where's my other Sir, rifle group? Our general is under attack. Yes, cannot let him, f cannot let him fall on the fields of Moscow. Let's charge our, our light howitzers, our light hussars in. They're making a good effort on it on this of it on this flank. If needs be, we'll put, fall back to the guns so they can blast them with canister shot. There you go, so we're picking them apart with accurate skirmish fire. Let's pick the guns and set them to attack a unit more in the centre. Seventy seventh going down. Determined attack in the centre. Okay, executive decision. Pull back to the pull back to the artillery. We can take advantage of their canister shots. Okay, hit this musketeer unit in the rear. Nicely, they're surging on into us. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. Battery reporting. 
blast him. Okay, they're shattered. Let's bring our Scots Greys up. Let's go hit that musket garrison unit. Let's go after their artillery in the rear. Let's get a Highland Foot to attack the flank of their the flank of their their attack to be honest let's actually start to pivot our line around like this charge the Russians in this in this flank I mean that's I sure as hell hope those aren't her howitzers. Should you go take him out? You guys stop firing because no use for targets because the howitzer is about to be taken out. Let's push you guys. Actually, no, you're about you're about to be okay there. definitely wouldn't have helped is all this howitzer fire that's being very disruptive it's just halt fire blast through this unit of musketeers into the back of these assaulting troops bring you over here let's bring you over here you guys push up over the open field nope ignore them we need to kill this effort charge on into that Union of Musketeers. Yeah, you guys turn around and face them. Their general is here. Charge them onto that Union of Musketeers. Try and take their general out of the saddle. Lots of fra lots of fratricide, though. The general is shattered. Da -da -da, da -da -da. I think this is a good decision to fall back to the guns here. Go on, Wellington. How it says open up on that six the urgent of the sixty-eighth. This has been a very It was interesting, it was fun. form upon the line just to ensure the coherency of our formation it's fair enough this king's german legion routed got 29 men remaining connor rangers have come back though they give everyone target this last wait a minute 
was just about to say. Let's get the 15th in. Oh, that's it. Oh, heroic victory. Moscow is ours. The Russians are dead. We lost 1,600 men, deployed an army, and even 14,000 men. What are the odds? Ooh, do we liberate it to have our... to create our... No. You're a major. We're going to keep you and take you. It says immediately take Wellesley. Hammer him down to Odessa. I'm not worried about them being... Uh, grumpy, because we've immediately got another stacked garrison. Let's bring Roland down. Henry Clinton's also on his way. The spies are also going to be on the way. Okay, so now the important thing is to get adequate ships over there to transport everything. I mean, is that not... Aha! <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Grasp a shovel. Roland Hill, plus one command when besieging. John Oswald got courageous leader. Never fear, lads. We'll sort your bankruptcy problem out. Because we've got loads of money. Oh. Nearly there goes. We're going to have a final attack against Boney. Napoleon's going to be defeated. And that's going to be the end of our... The end of our Napoleon Total War campaign. Okay, let's take a ship. Let's get him over here to deploy. Deploy his forces ready. Let's keep our ships. I mean, I'm pretty sure this this amount's already enough. I mean, if they get sunk on the way, that's <laughs> that'd be another problem. But to be honest, no one. No one except Naples, we can actually do anything, so that's why I might put them here. <laughs> put put Nelson off the coast, just in case they get any ideas. To be honest, even they'd have a good go. Let's just bring Thomas over here to make sure Sicily doesn't try anything silly. <laughs> Sicily try anything silly. Okay, let's do Sicily. Hostile. Present state gift. The finest jewellery. Kingdom of Naples. Present state gift. The finest jewellery. Have a horse as well. <laughs> so there's only Naples, Sardinia, Sicily and the Papal States. The Italian peninsula I've left alone, generally. And Sardinia itself, of course. Sweet. And because we own all the territories on the way, on the way, uh, Wellesley's going to keep replenishing all the way down to the coast. Beautiful. Then we're going to have one last climactic battle against <coughs> against Napoleon Bonaparte himself. <laughs> Crimea's a bit sad because they're thinking oh no all this warring we were going to do the trouble is if one of these little Italian states declared war on me then more or less the entire world would go against them okay so it's break this navy up to maximise our transport potential. 
potential. So get the spy in. And Henry Clinton aboard ship. Or Beresford in aboard ship. You can get on to. I mean, you could. Yeah, fair enough, go here. Come on, Wellesley. Come on, Henry. Come on, Freddy. Bumped into Wellesley. It's a bit of a traffic jam. Sorry, James, English Hamilton. You have outlived your purpose. Live free in Russia. Create a lumber mill. Supply post. Yep, everyone's on the march. Samia Minsk. No, I'm going to keep Michael Stowell. He did quite well. Mr. Abercrombie, stay where he is. Oh, I might actually just, just destroy him. Now, well, move him back here, just in case they fancy doing anything stupid. Although I think the game will be over by that point. Let's get our spy ashore. Don't get smart with me. Okay, when I declare war on France, I'm going to get one of these armies, one of these navies to sail back and blockade the port just to make sure they don't do anything frustrating. Let's hit end turn. So I want to gather all my armies together in one cluster. I mean, the end turns are pretty quick because no one's really doing anything. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. So when they're ready, we'll sail them out to the bay. Would increase your nation. Go on then, Osha. Have some stuff. So sail, yeah, completed transfers. Go out to the, go out to, out to sea a bit more. Oh, you're en route to Central. Okay, you are on your way. Oh, your path was blocked, wasn't it? So you lost your orders. Annoyingly, I might have to keep them like staggered like this so that they can actually move <laughs> they can actually move together so they don't constantly butt up against the one in front if I keep them sort of half a day's march behind each other then they'll make more progress this should be enough <laughs> to, <laughs> to destroy the French take absolutely no chances. I mean, I don't know what the Portuguese are doing. That could be the real fly in the ointment. But we're allies, so I don't think they're going to betray us that badly. Okay, let's get you to a board ship. Wellesley. Oh, I mean, okay. He's taking a real circuitous, circuitous route. Good, and turn again. <laughs> Had to really crank out these end turns at the last few, the last possible minute. Although to be honest, they, yeah, they might actually cross the strait and head towards Sweden. Which, if they want to do that, that's cracking. So Wellesley, get aboard ship. Well, okay. Get aboard this one then. Then head out to sea. You get aboard that ship. 
you get aboard that one. Roland can get aboard the other one. Another in turn. God, they're gonna make it all the way all the way over to Italy by the time we've redeployed. If the Portuguese want to take Stockholm, crack it. Let them, let them have at it. So I think regardless of what the length of this part, um, it's, I'm going to end it. I'm going to end the campaign on this part. I mean, I've got 25-ish minutes left to go, so it's not as if I'm rushing. Come on, let's bring Thomas around. So these armies are ready. Oh, I need to. Ah, I want to try to see if I can move. Really, I should have moved. Move the ship out. Push the other one in. Okay, they're all. <laughs> Next turn, they're all going to be in position. They are going for it. Okay. Let's just keep the armies together. And then next turn I can move them all as a group. <laughs> so they can all sail out to here, all sail out to here, then I'll declare war. Hey, just keep investing. Ah. Oh. George Murray, you did your job finally. Well, you did well up here. I mean, I want just to send send some agents to go have a look at Finland. May as well. Try kill the general. They may as well just try and. <laughs> Take out Sweden's high command. Go on, Portugal. Go take him out. I'm surprised the Swedes, the Swedes haven't attacked me yet, because I'm considering I'm raiding on their territory, but I suppose there's no real... They haven't got a reason to actually do it. Okay, let's get the convoy moving. This is something I can only do because I've got such command of the sea. So let's bring... Let's put Thomas Hardy up there to defend against that fort fleet if they fancy it then let's have Nelson bring him in uh, yes let's keep spying infiltrate the city lots of militia fuses of the line oh better than even chance oh not it's frustrating if they've not got any old guard or young guard they're my favourite, favourite French units. God, the money's really pouring in now, considering I'm not really spending it. This this battle is going to result in lots and lots of units running out of ammo. All these guys are protectorates, so I'm not worried about them. Ag, Stop moving, Sweden! Ugh! Ugh! I was a rube. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna auto that. I am not fighting Sweden. I'm not doing it. We have our plans. Why did I sail that navy across? Why? Go get them, Portugal. I've even got that army in Estonia. Like this one. So I can just go, meh. 
try taking him out. Ingria lost, but this is why we have George Murray. Just sit there and siege it. Gosh, just loads of militia. Wait a minute, does he? Oh, it was Kingdom of Sweden. I thought it said, I thought it said King of Sweden. I was like, Jesus, we killed the king! Um, okay. What's this? Okay. Let's move him in. Oh, Nelson, get out there. <laughs> All my ships are in. A mighty invasion fleet has been assembled. Declare war. They have no allies. Everyone join us. Portugal refused. Are we still allies? Yeah. This is not an army you can withstand, Napoleon. <laughs> okay, then let's take where's our, sp our spies. Are they still aboard the ships? Yeah, they are. Screw it. This is not a time for <laughs> for spies. <laughs> quick, <laughs> quick, make peace. No. Yeah, they've just <laughs> they have gathered around the city. I mean, I'm not fighting that. And we smashed them. Yep, for me, mentally, the end of this campaign is fighting France, not mess my time, mess around fighting Swedish militia armies. Okay. So where's Wellesley? There he is. Let's push him up. Good! They have, this is why I picked Wellesley first. I suspect they were intercept. And this is going to... This is effectively the final battle. Whatever's left of the garrison at Corsica is going to be nothing. It would be nice if I could got them to attack us, but where's... They've not... Oh, their third army's not come in to support. Or has it? Or does it just not really exist in the strength that it used to be? Well... Wellesley Bonaparte finale. <laughs> Look at those army. Well, you know, sometimes things so well, so well. I'm glad I took no risks. <laughs> there was no chances being taken here. Long campaign. Wait, we didn't even deploy first. Stupid Napoleon. Why does he have to be so good? Two, three, four, five in the center. Mainly because the, the terrain is like a, it's like a pool table, that's how flat it is. So that's why you need to have your artillery in the line. Uh, that's the wrong way. I very much want the rifles on the outside. Yeah, that'll do. Did I deploy you? Yeah, it did. It's part of the group. The 15th Sars on the flank. Wellesley. In 
the middle. Hearts is in the centre. Oh yeah, I'm attacking, aren't I? Well, I don't think Bonaparte cares. He's coming straight at me. Not just coming at me, running. Well, let's put some spikes down. Put some spikes down and let's slightly pivot this line to be in a better position to shoot. God bless you, Bernie. Where is he? There he is. Watch me not kill him, though. In the battle, he's going to be fine. So these batteries try to take out his, his artillery. Or his 12-pounders, at least. Okay, rifles. Stakes have been deployed. Let's bring the 15th over to this flank. Wish I had the Scots Greys with me. Ah, good. Oh, the supporting artillery is opened up. Dragoons are trying their luck. First horse guards, dragoons, no less. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. Yeah, their dragoons have been felled. Take my cannons if you wish, sir. Charge in. 15th is way too far out to help. They can take the guns all they like. Let's get the houses dropping on this column. Let's get ready to reorientate the line. Limber up and redeploy, including the rifles out there on the flank while I'm watching the rest of the battle go to go to hell. I mean, to be honest, the destruction of, a, of all of their cavalry like that, I think I might even take that, weirdly. Well, I suppose I'll have to, <laughs> whether I like it or not. Well then, now they've lost their offensive power, I might be more inclined to go... Charge in, so they got some hussards, hus hustards. Hell, let's just go in. There's no, I'm not, there's no point worrying about conserving troops. I've got a bucket load of them.
Mm, they're shattered. Hey, this is old balloon. Let's limber up with my artillery. Good, they've limbered up. That's a very concentrated position here. Perfect for... Okay, is this friendly reinforcements? It is friendly reinforcements. But the enemy also has reinforcements I must be aware of. But they're coming in right from right behind them, that's perfect. Okay, Beresford, we don't need you. Not you yourself. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Ah, he's only under attack by accident. Don't need you, Henry, either. Be ready to form square at the drop of a hat on this flank. Uxbridge. This is the lad I want. pounder from all the way back there isn't quite as useful as pretty much every other type of unit. Chasseur Cheval moving up. Probing our forces and they're moving up in general. Okay. How it says on Limber. Rifles up, ready to hit the column. Let's drop mortar rounds onto the is Napoleon's going to really keep them in the battle for, for a very long time. Even in the melee he's going to be very persuasive. So let's bring Oaks Bridge up. already putting his skills to work. Let's bring in Axe Bridge. Ah! Oh, that's not Bonaparte. Bonaparte's back over there. There he is, that's Bonaparte. So let's go after the supporting general. Send my cavalry into the rear to hit this unit of Hustards. 
No, hit that militia. Relax bridge. Let's get my cavalry out to skirmish something more to the rear. Generals, another general staff unit routed. We have killed their general staff. Now they must Not bony. God, Boney's ran right into the... Let's run my rifles so they don't get involved in the combat. God, everyone, he's right there! French Hustards have had enough. Riflemen are pretty isolated back here. Main concern was being able to skirmish. Okay, general staff has charged my rifles. Yep, you guys get back in formation. Okay, I want my... Don't want any more artillery. Get my rifles to skirmish bony. Come on, boys. Ah, these dra these dragoons have had it. They've had enough. Skirmish Bonaparte. The rifle saw off that general's bodyguard unit. Yep, there he goes. Four men remaining. I mean, these guys need to fire well off. You form square. Come on, Xbridge. Let's get you back involved. Well, the 15th have to go after Napoleon now if we're going to just leave him exposed like that. Okay, let's get him out of there to fire it well on. Get my cavalry out to safety. Ah, rifles! Ah, I can't form square with the guys I want. So Napoleon's charging a square. Intercept, intercept. Intercept, it's just him. Got my 15th Hussars chasing him down. No. Come on. Yes, yes. He's exhausted, but my lighter cavalry are in better condition. Got him! We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. 
You swine. To the guns! To the guns! All of you guys pivot to engage this puny little fusilier of the line unit. Enemy general wounded. Wounded indeed. Let's make them shatter. Ah, your little balloon didn't help now, did it? Oh yes, just get in range of my... Th this infantry. Good lads. Now let's take my line. And reform. Go on, Uxbridge, have a go at the Hustards. You guys skirmish that fusilier unit you know, of the line. You devils, you've lost your precious bone apart and now you're done for. Ooh, that was a bit that's a bit juddery. There we go. Don't want the guns. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest yeah. Fatigue be damned. Get into position. These hostiles are broken. Let's get out on the flank. You're a bit flummoxed now, aren't you? You've lost your beloved general. So much so, we're going to walk into position. Wellesley walking at the f I was about to say at the head of his army. He's not at the head of his army. Which I think I might have to uh, stretch them out a bit. There we go. Well, they're not going to like even more as they're tired and I'm having to make them run again. But if they run up into position. They will sooner be able to stop. Don't want the howitzer. Make ready. Present. You've lost your general. Fall back. Lots of artillery coming in to support me if I want it, but I don't.
Lots of our men are about to run out of ammo. As soon as I said it. Stand in your line until more troops are, troops have lost their ammunition. To be honest, which one is it actually? Is it you? Sacrifice the 15th Regiment of Foot. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Let's get the Connor Rangers up into this section of the line. Okay, I've got some raw marines. Start to form up the new line. Yep, it's gonna give me a case of who breaks first. Send them into the fight into into the was the battle line. Desperately trying to push through with bayonets. Keep these men charging on. Here comes the dragoons of the guard. Okay, so let's do. Lots of hand-to-hand -hand fighting. <laughs> one of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Another one, the first regiment of foot. Go join the battle in the centre. Oh, oh God! Wells, he almost died from a stray howitzer shot. Form squares. Charge on was with bayonets. I mean, I definitely want to ignore them and charge my cavalry after these guys. My riflemen are picking apart the militia. Damn the fatigue! Hit the carabiner up yet. Our men are running, sir. I'm not surprised. Especially how far away my marines are. Uh, 
Um, maybe I might be worth running my marines up a little bit. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. They did. They did damn well. Throw them in. Throw them into the core where all these guys are. Oh yes, cavalry, please. Get a charge off before they do anything sneaky. Charge into that unit of... <laughs> How many are you left? Three! Coldstream Grenadiers have got absolutely shattered. There's three of them. They're concerned. Our cavalry is turn tail. Our riflemen have turn tail. But the possibility remains. So this is my holding pattern for reinforcements. Don't want, don't want you. Our men are running for. Maybe for now. Let's turn off. Get our cavalry charging. Come on, dragoons. Oh, wow. Okay, okay you guys. Charge in. Break the square. Wellesley waits in the flank. You guys charge in. Wellesley walks behind you. If you can break the square, the light dragoons go in. Yeah, charge anyway. Well, no, you definitely have to break the square, otherwise they just rear up. They've broken! <laughs> oh. That was not close, not with the amount of troops I've got deployed. <laughs> that was a fun battle though, that was really good. Except we got Bonaparte, that's what I really wanted. We deployed 27,000 men. We lost 3,500, but they lost 8,200. Wellesley is very, very much depleted. Who do I want to send in instead? It seems to not have killed them. That army is still in pretty good nick. Yes, sir. Let's besiege. The, let's just get everyone. Wellesley can replenish. Let's get everyone in. Okay, let's give the honour to... Well, the honour's to Henry Paget. Let's move in, clear out the rest of their forces, destroy the reinforcing army, and then we'll be away. Although I will want to... do something like this. Awesome. Let us attack Corsica, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Wellesley did his job. He beat Bonaparte on the battlefield. This is going to be long. I need to go for a warning dark. It's only be about 9 o'clock by the time I go out. 9pm. I've had a really good recording session actually. Holy hell. 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 parts? The last 6 parts? 
maybe five. Yeah, who deploys first now? And who has no artillery? This is going to be glorious. Because you're going to have to come at me. Because you can't sit there and plink. Because you have no guns. So we'll deploy you properly in a bit. I mean, a bit dodgy for these chaps. But that's why they'll have two units of cavalry. They will have one. Yep, they have to move up, because they can't do anything else. If they stay back, they'll get shot to pieces, and they're already ruined from that previous battle. Look at that, 26. Second Regiment Dragoons, French Eclairier Dragoon de la Garde. Howitzers have fired, began firing. Good God alive. My captain is just a light horse unit. I'm, I'm really curious where their reinforcing army is going to come in. So let's speed this up a little bit. Especially if we're just lobbing artillery shells at each other. Well, I say at each other. <laughs> They're not lobbing any back at me. So I'm let these guys get destroyed by rifle fire. Because my rifles are hidden. So these traps think they're in safety moving. Well, they think they think they've got a good thing going, moving up in the safety of the uh, of the trees. But then the rifles with their 170 range. Surprise! I only killed three of them in the first volley. I mean, if, they if they're trying to go and engage my Dragoons... Oh no, they are trying to shoot at my rifles. They killed three of them in one volley, that's pretty impressive. <sighs> that was a lot of troops that died in that volley. They haven't routed though, even though there's only three of them remaining. Really? They come in behind our line? No way. No, they don't. Behind their line. Sorry. I saw it bounce over here and thought it was here, weirdly. Poor souls. Deploy the cavalry to hit the militia. Starting to run. Although I doubt their line will stand. This is all infantry, so we've got a bit of time. Where's their general? It's back here, near the cavalry fight. Look at that. They're just getting absolutely chewed up. Let's get the dragoons out to safety. Screw safety, get them into the fight. Deploy these guys to start to engage the head of the column. OK, 
Okay, let's get out of the infantry fight. Let our lines continue to do that. Destroy them. Turn off fire at will and just move up. See, it's a full unit of militia, so it will hold out for a bit, but it's not going to make... It's not going to make a whole lot of difference. Push up this flank. Yep, yeah, they're just going to get shot to hell. Well, they are attempting to avoid engaging our our uh, interception force. Let's get these guns to pick at the Hustards, which is their general. God, they really don't want to engage our, our line, do they? Very well. Keep pivoting the flanks. Let's change the target of the guns over to this unit of French garrison and let's intercept their captain. General, well, their captain is dead. Charge the Dragoon Guards into the garrison here. The 7th Regiment's going to get destroyed by withering volleys. Shake him in the first volley. Wavering with the second? Yes. Ah, oh, back to shaking. They might actually survive. Plinking at long range. Yeah, the first regiment of foot French garrison is going to break pretty soon. There it goes. Charge into the armed citizenry. Ignore. Ignore this unit of armed citizenry. Go hit that unit of militia that's formed. See, they do like to come back. Let's get the guns to move here. And let's set up our new battle line in preparation. Let's break off the engagement. Let's also move up the howitzers. Yeah, the Psalm citizenry is going to break. Yep. They form square. Damn. Let's put two units of line out there ready to take the fight to them. Yep, 
That's the end of the militia, and here comes the rest of their relief column. Although they are falling back to regroup, so that gives us chance a chance to push up this unit here. There we go. 61st are on the road, engaging the first unit of militia. Now hit the garrison, because they've come out of square. They're shaken, so they should be upset by a unit of light dragoons charging into them, even one that's taken some shots. They're broken, but I very much want them to be shattered. Good. Now have a go at that unit of militia. Come on, Mr. Paget. Unlimber the gun, straight canister shot. Some quite effective range. There you go, my cavalry's destroyed them on that flank. Let's pivot the guns over here. March these guys up as a reserve. I mean, have a go at the militia. Oh, even the misses are getting some kills. Houtzers are in position. You chaps better do something quick. Because you're about to get some hearts of shells dropping down on top of your heads. Ooh, pardon me. How it's is engaged. Yeah, keep them there. It'd be fluffy. Fluffy to protect the guns. Fluffy is what you used for things that are thematic. Regiment of Dragoons coming in. Eh, no, they're not pressing. No, they've dismounted, so do not form a square. Good lads. Oh, the horses are paying a terrible price for this decision. Goes the curious there goes the cavalry. Let's see if these chaps can reload in time. That's how it's a shot crash down amongst the troops. They can do nothing to stem the tide. The damage is done. Yep, yeah, that flank's broken down. Oh no, they've come back. No, they haven't. <laughs> That's the artillery over at the rear that's plinking away now. Poor devils. <laughs> and they're gone. Yeah, this, the 10th Regiment might be able to do some damage here on the flank. My riflemen seize them. 
takes a few of them down. Because they outnumber my foot guards. Fire! But let's hope my foot guards can equalise the equation somewhat with the rifles in support. Oh, let's start dropping some artillery on them. Start rapid firing canister shot into their ranks. As the French Empire crumbles into dust before our eyes. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. That's our riflemen. Let's just pull them out of the circuit. Let's bring our Kings are um, Kings Ger Kings Germany no Kings German Legion just foot guards let's bring our cavalry over as well to provide some support so the cavalry that's the artillery that's right at the back of the line you go after the 14th I don't know what I've just told to shoot. Pretty sure it's an infantry unit. Yep, it's you. Get that gun back into action. Yeah. run our cavalry in to mow down the tenth. First Grenadier Regiment getting showered to bits by canister shot. Artillery focusing on them. Well, you saw my howitzers. They're getting shot to bits because they're in square formation. They're getting hit by artillery. Let's retarget the artillery onto the fuses of the line. Let's turn off foot guards fire a well. Anything, let's get the foot guards in. Silly formation. If they're not done for now, they will be when the foot guards get in. Let's get the cavalry to chase them down. These chaps are going to die under a hail of musketry. Musketry. And then... Get you firing round shot over there. All my other artillery. It's how they're confident. They're like, eh, oh, we've got a chance. Like, do you? Do you? Yep, and they too have broken. This has been a mammoth part to end the episode on. This is really long. Ah, <laughs> oh, decisive victory. And it was decisive. God, you think? Oh, look at that. 800 men lost. 6,000 dead Frenchmen. I'm going to occupy the, the city. And that is that. That is 
the end of the campaign. I've met the campaign objectives, which were to hold can't remember how many territories, 60, so I've overshot that by 4. Could have done it much sooner by keeping a bunch of regions, but where's the fun in that? Marched to the gates of Moscow, secured it, and then killed Napoleon Bonaparte just with absolute overwhelming force and we didn't even manage to research the full tech tree <laughs> let's have a look at prestige well yeah because it's just us and the ottomans are the only main factions left and they are my protectorate let's have a look at our government panels we're making 141,000 a turn with not exactly stellar ministers anyway. <laughs> we had some, some decent ones, but we didn't get bonuses for, well, not many bonuses for recruitment or navy or things like that. Trading a lot of goods, took control of all the trade nodes. But that was pretty darn good. Really touch and go at the start, where the, f the odd few battles were very decisive up here in Denmark. But no, once we started rolling on, and our economy picked up strength, there wasn't really anything they could do to stop us. So, at this one hour, 37 minute long final part, this is the Roferman. I hope you've enjoyed. And when this part goes out, there will also be a faction vote video with it. So please go watch that video. Go into the description where the straw poll link will be and vote for what campaign you want to see next. I know I've got a list running from suggestions people have made before, and then we'll see what people think. Radio, this is The Rifleman. Thanks for watching my Napoleon War campaign, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you for the next one. Cheers, everyone.